there are two kinds of people. Engineering of consent is the art and science of using unconscious fears and desires towards moving the masses into political and economic realms. The key the elite found was that if they can keep stimulating people's irrational fears and desires, they can have them do whatever they want. And this suits the psychopathic tendencies of the elite and reinforces their delusion of superiority. There are two views of people that have dominated my life. Those that view people as good, and they have a live and let live attitude, and this constitutes a majority of the world. And then there are those who view people as bad, that they are stupid and that they need to be controlled. Those that feel people are good have healthy mental states and are, are empathetic and feeling towards each other. Those that feel people are bad are projecting their image of themselves onto the rest of society. Deep down, these people don't like themselves. They were hurt somewhere along the line. Hurt people hurt people. Most of the people that I have seen that, are, that have these tendencies had some major traumatic effect in their lives, whether it was a father abusing them or you know, somebody dying in their family, and that they never dealt with the pain of the issue and overcoming it in a healthy way. Instead, they closed off the rest of the world and created their own little bubble world, which they seek to control so they don't get hurt again. These people have narcissistic or psychopathic tendencies. They lack empathy and have a strong self-desire to control others. Because mankind is intrinsically wicked, he has to be governed. Such governance can only be established, however, when men are united, then they can be united against other people. Those that are fit to rule are those who realize that there is no morality and that there is only natural right, the right of the superior to rule over the inferior. The people are told what they need to know and no more. Leo Strauss there is a whole group of politicians and elite that follow Straussian uh, psychology. They follow this guy, and, and yet when you look at a picture of him, I don't know where in his world he thinks he's the uh, superior one in, in any realm of uh, society, but because he has a psychopathic thought and views people as uh, evil, wicked people, and that he's smart enough to recognize that fact, that somehow gives him the sense of superiority to control others. When all they are is essentially parasites picking on a host. Cancer is not superior to the body. It's just a parasite. Because it can and, and does take over the body doesn't mean it's superior. It just means that it's a parasite or a cancer. So then you're left with two views of the world, good and bad. If you view people as generally good, they're citizens. If you view them as bad, they're consumers that you need to manipulate to buy your products to make you profits, to make you more powerful, to control more people. If you, if you view the world as good, people tend to help and want to satisfy their needs and help, help others, whereas people are more focused on their desires, their selfish desires, if they tend to look at things bad. Good people will look at things rationally. Bad people will look at things irrationally or, or try to motivate that way, I, I guess is one way of saying it. Good people are sympathetic. Bad people are selfish, mentally stable, psychopathic, seek inner peace and harmony or buy happiness. They have the ability to govern themselves or they need the elite rule over them. Uh, would seek to have power to the people and if you view the people as intrinsically wicked or evil that they can't be trusted. The combination of an elite that has the psychopathic view and the masses assuming that their leaders are good like them is a deadly combination and one that we need to watch out for. Those who manipulate this unseen mechanism of society constitute an invisible government, which is the true ruling power of our country. It remains a fact that in almost every act of our daily lives, whether in the sphere of politics or business, in our social conduct or our ethical thinking, we are dominated by a relatively small numbers of people who pull the wires which control the public mind, who harness old social forces and contrive new ways to bind and guide the world, says Edward Bernays. Now he's starting to mature into his thought of, of controlling people's irrational fears and desires, and now that he's been co-opted by the elite to help guide their power over us. By the way, if anyone here is in advertising or marketing, kill yourself. <laughs> just a little thought. I'm just trying to plant seeds. You are Satan's spawn, filling the world with vile and garbage. You are fucked and you are fucking us. Kill yourself. It's the only way to save your fucking soul. How do you 
you live like that. I bet you sleep like fucking babies at night, don't you? <laughs> What'd you do tonight, honey? Oh, we made, uh, we made uh, arsenic uh, childhood food now. Good night. <laughs> yeah, we just said, you know, is your baby really too loud? You know. Yeah, it'll, you know, the mums will love it, yeah. your world, isn't it? You see, Bill touches on that, that these marketers sleep like babies. And again, that we brought this up before with that psychopaths do not have emotional feelings towards others. In their mind, that they're plotting for the marketing campaign to sell arsenic to children. For them, uh, if they have a successful campaign to convince people to buy arsenic for their children, they're going to make money and gain more power. They don't care what that they'd be poisoning babies, essentially. It's incredibly important for you to recognize that there are people out there like this. You need to recognize them in, in your personal life. And more importantly, understand that our world is being run by people who think and act just like this. A newspaper is a device for making the ignorant more ignorant and the crazy crazier.